This is going to be a quick video about some feature updates that ITT has pushed out in a recent version of the eVlink application and that's the ability to add a camera to your setup. And the way IT decided to push this new feature out is actually quite interesting because uh, the type of camera that you add is not like a typical IP camera but it's like a spare Android phone that you probably have lying around somewhere in your drawer. So the idea is that you uh, take out your Android phone, which you are, you are not using anymore, and install a special app which basically turns it to a camera. And then you can link that to your EV-Link setup and then you can look at the feed of that camera image. As you can see there is a slight bit of delay but it's not, uh, not much. So you can uh, view that camera in your uh, EV-Link application. And the use case that they have come up with is that you use your old fold camera to point to your garage door and then use one of the IT products, for example, the SV or the 4 Channel 1 to control the garage door. And then whilst you are doing that, you can also make sure that your you know, garage door is going up and down. So you have a visual feedback of what's really happening. So let's have a quick walkthrough of how you set this up in your EVNIC application and then uh, what are the features that you are getting. The first thing you need to do in order to set this up is to go to the Play Store and look for this application which is called the EVLink Camera. So you install it, install it on this, the phone that you want to use for the camera. Once you have installed the application on your second phone, just start the application. The first thing that you need to do is need to log in and then you just use the same user ID, password, email address, phone number, whatever you use to log in to your regular EVLink application. This is how your camera is going to link to your EVLink application. And this is what you are going to see. And the funny thing is that it's going to say that it has no connection. And I thought that there are some issues with my phone, but actually what this no connection means that there are no clients that are actually connected to your phone so unless you actually start looking at this camera it is going to say no connection so what i have done i've just uh, started a camera on my other phone in the evening application and now it shows the preview image what uh, it is transmitting over um, of course it's not really clear how the this information is getting you know transmitted to the main phone uh, whether this is going to, through the EVLink servers or whether this is uh, go um, you know being transmitted locally if you see my main screen it shows um, there is a, a symbol which says LAN so it suggests that it, it doesn't go into the cloud but well actually you never know the first thing that you probably notice is that the picture is upside down and well I mean you have to mount this camera anyway so I probably would just you know flip it over which means that the image on my secondary phone and also on the main phone is you know the right way up and you can probably see the delay between the the two images it's not too bad of course the uh, the application supports 4G and Wi-Fi as well so if I would put a sim card in this phone which I don't have a seven, second sim card then I would be able to place it somewhere where I don't have Wi-Fi connection the only thing is that you have to be aware is uh, the screen needs to be running in order to transmit the video and um, this could be uh, a limitation with uh, a DVD Android that you know you can't use the camera if the, the screen is turned off uh, maybe for security purposes or something I mean they might be able to fix this in the future firmware but um, this is how it works at the moment so if you are running it on battery that battery is probably not going to last long because you can't turn off the screen the only thing you can do is uh, bring the brightness down to the minimum and as you can see it says no connection again because my main phone has turned off so this uh, screensaver came on and and it actually uh, basically break the connection with the with the camera so at least you can visually inspect if somebody's looking at your camera there is not much that you can do on the app within the your camera phone anyway so you just uh, basically you set it up maybe buy a camera mount or something so it stays upright and probably upside down so the picture is in the right orientation and you just leave it and because of the screen stays on probably you also need to connect it to a wall uh, power supply or at least uh, you know like a beefy power bank once you come back to the main application, then what you will see at the end of the device is, is that you have an EV-Link camera. 
and if you go in then the image will start streaming in a couple of seconds and then you can see that as I move the the car around the pictures updates as well here you can uh, switch between HD and and high definition and you can see the frame rate and the the, the fruit uh, the bandwidth as well and as I said previously it shows LAN so I'm guessing if this phone would be on 4G then or 3G then it would show like um, 4G 3G or wireless or something and of course because the phone has a speaker and a microphone you can use uh, the push to talk and the sound as well so the sound is actually going to come through and then you can also talk to the phone so for example hello and I'm going to turn this off because uh, the two things are really close to each other so or you can hear with echo as we have seen before if you scroll all the way down to the end of your devices you see the new camera appearing there which gets automatically assigned uh, an ID which is 01 FB in my case I haven't found a way to change that so if I go back and I also select the device so for example I have this uh, son of basic then if I go into settings so the three dots in settings and again this device has to be on the latest firmware so as you can see I have just upgraded to firmware 3.0.0 and if you scroll down you see um, um, an option here which says add cameras so if you add cameras you can add this particular camera to this device so if I go back to my main screen what you can see now is the, uh, the image from the webcam is appearing off, uh, above the device so I can still operate the device using this uh, the button but then you can also see the picture what is going on here and as you can see as I move the thing around the, the car around the, the picture also updates and of course it's upside down now so I need to flip the camera the only annoying thing which I haven't figured to um, prevent is the the voice is coming through whether you want it or not so because the two are really close to each other I'm getting all sorts of feedback but yeah I guess in a normal scenario that's fine because you are you want to view something which is probably further away or in a different room and because it's a fairly new feature it is not available for all devices so definitely the device has to be in the latest firmware so for example this is my iPhone 2 and as you can see there is no camera in the settings and probably I won't be able to add it to a T2 either let me just quickly check you see there is no uh, camera option here to the TH10 probably not either because there is not enough real estate on the screen to add a camera image but if I go to my touch I should be able to add it to my touch yeah so I can add more uh, one a camera to the touch I don't have any more cameras and it's this uh, 101 FB is already added to my basics so I won't be able to add but that's the idea so you can add some camera images and then you can get some feedback and of course you can just come here if you don't want to add it to any particular camera I think it's a fun feature to have and um, probably it's quite useful in a few scenarios first of all it doesn't require a great investment because well if you have a phone lying around you can just yeah plug it in install the app and use it so basically it costs you nothing to have a security camera of course it's not going to be a real security camera because it doesn't have night vision so it only works as long as you have some illumination which the phone can pick up and then probably your old phone is not going to be really good at uh, low light condition anyway but in general lighting condition I think it's going to be fine and because the screen stays on uh, all the time it's not going to be a truly wireless and mobile device because as you can see we started this at 100% battery and it's already down to 89% and with all the breaks and everything I probably you know recording for up to 20 minutes so within that 20 minutes it already dropped 20% battery so that's not going to last long but I think that's not the idea and based on the feedback that I got from IT this is a like a trial feature and they would like to know how people are using it if there is you know a need to have uh, this camera functionality in the uh, EVLink application and if this gets picked up and a lot of people start using it they might improve it even further so maybe you would be able to use regular IP cameras and integrate them into your EVLink application rather than just um, you know your old phones using them as cameras but I think it's fun so 
go ahead play around with it if you have an old phone put some good use to it if you have a niche application let me know in the comment section you see two small thumbnails on the screen which would link you to two of my other videos related to it and the dv link application otherwise you can also click on my face if you want to subscribe to my channel but that's all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video